Hey guys, it's Jeff Quinton here down the shore at Prudential Fox and Roach Realtors and uh, I'm uh, preparing this video today for you because you've just recently gone on their contract to purchase a property. So congratulations to you. So a couple of things I want to do is prepare this little list to expect what we're going to do in the transaction, what my staff does, what our closing coordinator does to facilitate the closing and make sure it goes smooth. And then also your responsibility on what you're going to need to do as well. So we all can make sure this goes smooth and, and, and goes uh, the way it should in a quickly manner. At this time, you've already received a fully executed contract and we're past the attorney review period. So right now we're moving towards the closing date. All right, so here's a couple of thoughts. One is we're going to need to go ahead and order title work. And always the, 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 uh, the buyer chooses the title company. Um, we recommend all the title companies that we work with that are, that are efficient, smooth, and make your life easy. Again, title company is, um, you know, it's state mandated rate. So the rate itself is going to be with anybody. It's all going to be the same. It really comes about the service. Now, if you don't have a, uh, a relationship with anybody, you know, we can certainly recommend and everything will be smooth. But again, we need to go ahead and order title work and order title um, uh, have a title company go ahead and process and facilitate the transaction for the closing okay so that's number one number two is we got to make sure that your initial deposits in we make the deposit payable to the title company so if you can if you haven't sent that in for some reason make the check payable to us according to the contract or excuse me make the check payable to the title company and mail us the uh, deposit we'll get it to the title company mail it to my office and Ruth will provide you the address uh, as well where it should be mailed to so she'll get that to you if you don't mind you can mail it to 5501 West Avenue Ocean City New Jersey 08226 keep in mind the second deposit will be due as well and you can mail that to us and we can get it to the title company as well or you can drop it off or mail it to the title company directly if you do that just let us know okay so initial deposit there um, we will get everything to the title company to start the process there alright next most important thing is home inspection now if you're gonna have a home inspection in the contract, typically you need to do it within 15 days and have that report back and the results back with it. So we need to go ahead and order that. Now the home inspectors that we refer to and we've got relationships with that again are very efficient and smooth, they want to speak to you directly as a buyer and get payment for that. They, so they don't really let us order them, they need you to order them. We'll provide a list on who we, uh, we work with all the time and you can choose uh, who to work with and then order the home inspection and then we can coordinate uh, the timing of getting into the property. If you want to meet the inspector there or go without them or whichever you want to do, we'll coordinate it. But we need to go ahead and order that whenever we can. Okay? Um, there is a deadline on that, so we need to get that done quickly, get the results back. If there's anything that comes up that's revealed that uh, you want to address, we can address it, um, whatever it may be. Now, keep in mind, guys, home inspection is not to you know, beat the seller up over and over again all the way through after you've already beat them up on the price. Today's market, it's a buyer's market. Yes, we get it. You can carve out and, 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 and chisel the right deal, which you probably have done. But it's not the time to come back and beat them up again because the sellers, again, are remorseful probably because you beat them up and may not go ahead and negotiate a lot on the inspection. So just, just keep that in mind. It, it's a home inspection to reveal plumbing, heating, air conditioning, roof to be free of leaks, mechanical systems to be good. And if everything's good there, then, then we're good. Don't expect the sellers to you know, give a whole lot on this, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, number two uh, on regarding inspections is termite. We order the termite inspection, we can do that. We've got the reputable termite inspectors, we'll order that for us, okay? Again, second deposit. Um, now, more importantly, if you're getting a mortgage, you need to apply immediately for the mortgage, okay? So get everything to your mortgage company. Again, we highly, highly, highly recommend use a local lender here to us to understand our marketplace, not somebody outside of the area you know, we recommend you use a mortgage banker, not a mortgage broker that has no clue or, or, or any idea where the money's coming from. Okay, so keep this in mind. We'll guide you the right way to make it the most smooth transaction. So, so apply for your mortgage company. Give us whoever it is you're using as soon as you can. The name of the loan officer, name, uh, phone number, email address, so we can contact them and get all the information to them that they need. All right. During the process here, um, if it's a condominium, you're going to need insurance, which the condominium already will have the insurance in place. We'll take care of that, get in the new deck pages into your name, so you don't need to do anything with that, as the insurance will already be in place if it's an existing condo. If it's a single family home, we're going to need to order new insurance for you, okay? Which will require a new flood elevation certificate that will be need to be ordered, which we can order for you. And I highly recommend if it's a single family home or you own the whole entire building, land and the building together that you order a survey. Not required, but we 100%, in my opinion, you need to have it to make sure there's no encroachments on the property uh, all the way through. We can always recommend and order that for you as well. Um, insurances, flood elevation, very important. Okay, lastly I have on here, uh, not lastly, second to last I guess, 
You have on here utilities. About 10 days prior to closing, you want to go ahead and order all the utilities. They won't allow us to do it. You're going to need to do it as a buyer. You need to put them in your name. The electric, the gas, the water and sewer, if it's not a condo or if it's not a, uh, you know, if it's separate water and sewer, cable, etc. And then what the sellers will do is they'll transfer out of their name into your name that, but you'll need you guys to go ahead and order all that from the utility companies. We'll provide you the numbers to make sure all the utilities are in, uh, in your name for prior to closing. Now, if you are not coming to the closing, okay, if you're not going to attend the closing for some reason, you're going to need a power of attorney to have everybody sign off for you, which will have to be approved by your lender and also approved by your um, uh, mortgage company, okay? If that's, but most cases, a mortgage package is pretty thick and hopefully you'll be able to attend the closing, okay? Now, just keep in mind, during this process, I, I wrote down what can go wrong. There could be a hundred things that can go wrong in a transaction. There's hundreds of things that are going on in a real estate transaction, okay? But most time, with all this being done the right way with my closing coordinator, you know what usually go wrong? Not much. So, keep in mind that there may be some things, hurdles that go up and down. I've been in the business, my team's been in the business a long time. We've done over 3,000 sales. We've never seen, put this way, we've seen every single thing and deal that has ever happened. We've seen it already and we've overcome it. So we have an answer solution for whatever problem may arise, okay, in the transaction. Lean on me, lean on my staff. Ruth is my closing manager that will be processing the transaction. So uh, go ahead and uh, give her a call if you have any questions, concerns, or reach out to me if there's anything you need at all. And as always, during this process, it's exciting. Let's make it that way. And if you know of anyone else looking to buy or sell, because I know you'll be talking to everybody in the transaction about you just bought a home. You'll be telling the world about it, your family, your friends, your coworkers, anyone else you know looking to buy or sell real estate here and be great firm to us. We always appreciate it as referrals are the lifeline of our business. Thank you again. Call me if you need anything at all. We appreciate your business and looking forward to a very successful transaction. Thank you.